they call it being on the spectrum, and that is because there is a wide range of behaviors that people exhibit when they are autistic. For some it is minimal interruption to their day-to-day -day lives, and people may not even notice that the individual copes with sensory processing issues. For others, autism is a life-impacting social cognitive disorder that causes them to exhibit unique behaviors and movements. In Uniquely Human, the diagnosis of autism and its behaviors is discussed, as well as how best to address certain mannerisms and situations. People with autism have the same emotions as everyone else, just amplified. They struggle with processing their emotions, why they are having them, how to express them, and how to resolve them. One way to help someone come to grips with their emotions is to find the cause of what has triggered their intense feelings. For instance, if they are confused, which usually leads to frustration and fear, find out what has happened to cause that confusion. Then help the person to understand the situation. This will allow them to process the emotion and move past the overwhelming experience. Because autism is a spectrum, people's sensory experience ranges from overstimulated to understimulated and is drastically different from case to case. Whereas some autistic people need lots of stimulation and crave touching different textures and listening to different sounds, others are disturbed by those same textures and sounds. Some people struggle with particular textures, like seams on socks, and specific noises, like a doorbell ringing. Being mindful of a person's comforts and discomforts will allow you to create an environment that works best for the individual. There are experts in the field of autism, psychologists, psychotherapists, occupation therapists, speech therapists, cognitive therapists, a best specialist, etc. These people are needed to diagnose and work with autistic people. However, sometimes an expert is good for diagnosing, but not necessarily the best person to work with your autistic individual. Some common people just have a knack for people on the spectrum. They just get it. They accept the uniqueness and seem to have a sixth sense of how to handle diverse situations that arise. You don't have to be an expert in autism to make a profound impact on an autistic person's life. Autistic people need direct communication. Figures of speech, colloquialism, idioms, and metaphors will be difficult for a person with autism to translate into concrete meanings. Rather than saying something like, it's a piece of cake you need to say, it's easy to get done. People with autism are very literal and will wonder why you are talking about getting a piece of cake when you were just talking about accomplishing a task. Keeping direction short and to the point, and speaking calmly will help you communicate at maximum efficiency and minimize frustration and confusion. Routines are important. Consistency is important. Autistic people function better when they can depend upon their environment to be the same. Having a schedule where they know what they are supposed to do and when will alleviate a lot of frustrations and meltdowns. Meeting their needs on what they like and don't like, what calms them down, and eliminating triggers will allow them to function in their environment independently and that will foster a sense of security and comfort. 